One of the first things someone sees when they come to your LinkedIn profile is your banner. So it's really important that you use it to your advantage and don't just waste space. In this video, I'll teach you how to create a LinkedIn banner that grabs attention. One of your main goals on LinkedIn is attracting and impressing recruiters. But these recruiters look at hundreds of profiles a day, so you only have a few seconds to impress them. Most people put zero effort into their LinkedIn banner photo, which is so crazy because it's literally the highest thing on your LinkedIn profile, so don't make that mistake. In this video, I'm gonna share with you seven ideas to create a great LinkedIn banner, and then I'm gonna show you how to create one for free in Canva. The first LinkedIn banner idea, as dumb as this is, is to just have one. So many people don't even have a LinkedIn banner photo, so they are just wasting that space. So you are already winning by having a LinkedIn banner, and you can use the following tips to make it great. The second idea is to showcase key skills or tools you have in your banner. Again, one of the first sections that a recruiter is gonna see when they come to your profile is your banner, so you really wanna put some of your most important information there. So if there are certain tools you know how to use or certain skills that a recruiter might be interested in, be sure to list them here if you want to. The third idea is to have a short action statement. For a data analyst, this may be, I turn insights into actions. For a marketer, it could be, I make the world know about your company. This could be a little bit generic at times, but if you design it well, it can be a good way to brand yourself. The fourth idea is to have a career achievement listed. So if you're a data analyst, it could say, I saved my company $60,000 a year by automating a repetitive process. Or for a marketer, it could be, I've generated over a million Facebook impressions with my ads. Just something here that grabs attention and shows how valuable you are. The fifth idea is to list your contact information, which is probably just gonna be your email. In case you didn't know, recruiters only have a certain number of DMs they're allowed to send a month, so if you can save them a DM by listing your email, that might just help them email you. The sixth idea is to use a photo of you speaking. If you have any pictures of you speaking to an audience somewhere, this is a quick way to assert credibility. As long as the photo doesn't show the audience, it doesn't matter if you were speaking to two people or 2,000 people, but again, Again, this just looks really good on LinkedIn. And if you don't have a photo like this, as most of you probably don't, don't worry about it. You can just skip this one. And the seventh idea, which everybody watching this right now should do, is keep in mind how you want to brand yourself. And even if you don't have a company, you still have a personal brand. You can think of your brand as how you want people to perceive you. Do you want people who come to your LinkedIn profile to think that you're funny, professional, smart, talented, whatever? Your LinkedIn banner is a great place to showcase this. Now that you know what you're going for with your LinkedIn banner, I'm going to show you how to easily create one for free using Canva. For anybody that doesn't know, Canva is a user-friendly graphic design platform that allows you to create high-quality visuals like LinkedIn banners for free. So first things first, if you haven't already, be sure to go sign up for a free Canva account. And once you have, if you want to get a little bit more comfortable with Canva after watching this video, I dropped a couple beginner-friendly tutorials in the description. Okay, so whenever you come to canva.com, you will be met with this page where you can search for a bunch of different templates, and that is exactly what we're gonna use. So all you need to do is search right here for LinkedIn banner, and as you can see, it already knows what you're gonna be searching for because lots of people use this, so we're gonna look for LinkedIn banner templates. So now that we've searched for these templates, we can go ahead and scroll down and there are so many already created templates that you can just go ahead and edit and make personal to you and throw onto your LinkedIn. As you will notice, some of these have this little crown that means that you need to have a premium Canva account. So either you're gonna wanna use one of these that don't have that crown, or you could see if you could get a free trial or use just a month subscription if you wanna use any of the Canva Pro or premium features. So let's say that we like this template right here. So all we have to do is click on it and that will let us customize this template for free. For anybody new to Canva, over here you have all of these different things that you can add. You can look at your projects, you can add text, you can add different shapes and elements. So you have all of that over here. But at least for right now, we're just going to be editing what's already created. So all you have to do is click a couple of times and then you can edit this. So I will just put in my name. I am a data analyst, so let me change this to data analyst. And I'm not gonna use my real email, so I will just put Elijah at 
Elijah at fake email woohoo.com. And then right here, you could use your phone number, but I probably wouldn't do that. Uh, you could always do something like, again, for a data analyst, you could add your tech stack. So I could put SQL, Python, Excel. That looks a little bit wonky right now, but you can drag this to line this up a little bit better. So you could drag that. So that's something you could do with this, or you could always just trash this if you didn't want this. So at this point, you have your name, data analyst, and you have your email address. So that's a lot of good information that a recruiter might want. And then again, you've already shown the effort of having a banner to begin with. Another option, if you're really crafty, is you could just start from scratch. So you could either find a blank template, or you could just come over here and delete everything that is on here. And you can't see all of these because they're in white, but uh, we'll just go ahead and delete all of these. So you could start blank, and then if you come over here to elements, if we type tech background, we could just take one of these and attach it right here. And then we could add text if we wanted to. So we'll add a heading, say Elijah Butler. You can come up here and make this much bigger. So this stuff is a little bit more advanced, but I just wanted you to know that if you want to create your own, you can, but if not, you can always come back here to these templates. And I really think you can find one of these for free that will really be good enough for your LinkedIn profile. One last thing before we are done, I wanted to show you one of my former LinkedIn banners that I'd used. Again, I am more than just a data analyst now. I'm also a data analyst content creator. So I help people learn data analytics for free. So what did I want people to know when they first came to my profile? It's that I'll help you learn data analytics for 100% free. That's very simple, but it gets the point across. And then currently on my LinkedIn, I wanted to try a photo of me speaking. Honestly, this was me speaking at a Halloween themed marketing event. So that's why you have all of this Halloween decorations. But again, it's a really good way to assert credibility. I honestly don't know for me if I like this photo or not. So I might go back to the other or create a new one. But again, I just wanted to show you what I actually have used for my banner photos. So anyway, I hope this video helped you know exactly what to keep in mind when creating a LinkedIn banner photo, as well as how to create one for free using Canva. And in case you didn't know, this video is part of my free LinkedIn optimization course hosted right here on YouTube. So be sure to go check out all of the other videos to optimize your LinkedIn to attract recruiters and land jobs. And whether you wanna be a data analyst or just wanna have a great LinkedIn profile, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I post a brand new video every single week Week, helping you become the best that you can be. And with that, I'll see you next week.